In these two examples, uh, we show some applications of Chevian's theorem. Uh, the first is that medians are concurrent. And if you remember, a median um, just goes from the midpoint of each of the sides um, to the um, opposite um, vertex. And usually it looks something like this. And what this means in Chevian's theorem is it's very easy to show that these are concurrent because Chevian says if AE over EC times BC over BD times BF over AF equals 1, then um, they are concurrent. Well, this is pretty obvious because uh, them being midpoints on the sides, all of them have a ratio of 1, so clearly AE over EC is 1, BC over BD is 1, and BF over AF is 1, so 1 times 1 times 1 equals 1. So yeah, very easy to show that that important point called the centroid exists, and um, it's the point of concurrency of the three medians of a triangle. Um, this one is a specific example, and um, you could do it in a general sense, but I decided to do it in a specific um, way, and that is if you have a five, six, seven triangle and you draw in the angle bisectors of the three sides, um, the three angles, we want to show that they are concurrent with each other. Well, the angle bisector theorem says, so it looks like this, that the opposite um, uh, side from the bisected angle is in the ratio of the other two sides. So that means BD over DC equals 5 over 6. And then because of the way that Chevian is done, let's do it in the right order. So CE over AE because I used the left one here. So I need to use the left one there in the numerator. Well, CE over AE is going to equal 7 over 5, right? Because that's an angle bisector. And then finally, um, AF over BF is going to equal um, 6 over 7. If you multiply those three together, you get BD, um, BD over DC times CE over AE times AF over BF, which is the condition needed to meet uh, Chevian's theorem. Well, that equals 5 6 times 7 5th times 7 6th. 5 cancel, 6 is cancel, 7 cancel, that equals 1, which shows that those three angle bisectors are concurrent. And really, that works for any angle bisector and could have been proven in a general sense as well. So, just two applications of Chevian's theorem.